Welcome back, it's Nine, and today we are going to be talking about a new secret guerrilla game that has been in production since February of 2018. We are going to be talking about a Haven Studio update. If you guys remember, Jade Raymond is working on a game for PlayStation building a new IP, and we've got a little bit of an update on what's happening with that studio. Lastly, we'll be talking about Blue Box Game Studios and another delay that has hit their abandoned trailer app. Now, before we get into that, if you have not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos, and hit the like button. It helps the channel a ton. Now, let's get started with this Gorilla Secret project that has been in production. And this comes from WCCF Tech titled, Gorilla has been working on an unannounced game since 2018. GOTG had multiplayer once. So Simon LaRoche's LinkedIn profile provides two major pieces of information. The first is that the 20 plus year industry veteran credit for his high work on high profile titles like Behaviors Monsters Inc., Ubisoft's Far Cry Instincts, the canceled Rainbow Six Patriots, Splinter Cell Blacklist, and Watch Dogs 2 and Gorilla's Killzone 2 among others has come back to Gorilla in early 2018 in the role of game director for an unannounced game. So this confirms previous rumors that the Dutch studio has switched to parallel development on two projects. So they're obviously working on Horizon Forbidden West, hopefully dropping in 2021. And then there's this other game. And with over three years in development, this other title may not be far off from being unveiled either. There's no indication as to what it might be though, based on the information that's provided. This could be a new IP. This could be Killzone, which I doubt. But I really feel like regardless, this is something that's not too far away. Three years is a long time to develop a game. And I feel like I'd like them to do a new IP, but there is room for this to possibly be uh, the return of Killzone. Although, again, I really feel that they have kind of gone away from Killzone based on their actions with removing any indication of Killzone on their websites and other places. Now, the other piece of news is that before rejoining Gorilla LaRoche did a stint at Eidos Montreal, working on the recently revealed Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy game. And even more interesting is that he was the online gameplay director for that game's multiplayer, which obviously now we know has been canceled because likely having to do with Marvel's uh, Avengers not doing too hot as a games with service game. Interestingly enough, we know that PlayStation is trying to fill this gap in their portfolio of multiplayer experiences, as that has always been one of the criticisms that people have had. They have said, hey, PlayStation, great single player experiences, but multiplayer experiences are very lacking in their first party. And it looks like they have been seeking out to fix that. And we've been talking about this with other studios. Naughty Dog, for example, is working on a multiplayer title. And this is just one of the examples of many different initiatives they've taken to fill that gap. Now, it looks like this could also be another uh, way for them to fill that. But as we're going to be talking about with our next topic, which is Haven Studios, we're going to be seeing how they are even doing more to fill that gap going forward. Overall, on this specific Gorilla situation, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they have in the works. But it's hard to even speculate what it could be because there's not much information there. Now, with Haven Studio, they have put out a new job posting and they are looking to get engineers with experience on live service, multiplayer, cloud and large populations of players, which is basically everything revolving around multiplayer, right? That's all the ingredients for a multiplayer game in today's day and age. Now, interestingly enough, we know that there's other studios working on multiplayer games for them too, but it seems like they're really going heavy into this trying to create as many good multiplayer games as possible. And we know that they've talked about making sure that there is a emphasis on story still. And they say, well, even though it's a multiplayer game, we can still focus on story and make sure we provide a great story. And I'm curious to see what that looks like, because if Sony can truly nail down a good multiplayer game with a meaningful story, that's 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 it like they're set they are set we know they can do single player if they can do the same for multiplayer the same justice in story 
I feel like this is going to be a Sony that we've never seen before as they are going to be so well-rounded. Now, this is speculation. Obviously, we don't know that they're going to necessarily do an amazing job on the story aspect of things, but we know that these studios are very capable. And so speaking specifically about Gorilla and Naughty Dog, uh, but it looks like in Insomniac, actually, we were talking about them yesterday as well. And I feel like all these studios are very adequate and, and they they are well-rounded and they know what they're doing and how to create great games. So I feel like we could see a lot of greatness on that end of things. Now, there's not much else to extract from this as that's pretty much it. That's all the information there is there. But as always, I will have the links in the description for you to check out yourself if you are interested. Now, lastly, I want to talk about Blue Box Game Studios and they have put out a tweet an update from Hassan, and I'll have it playing for you guys so you can hear his words verbatim. Hello everyone, I'm Hassan from Blue Box Game Studios, the game director for Abandoned. Um, the last few weeks was really stressful to us. The team is very tired. Um, we were hoping to release the app today, and I know that a lot of you have been looking forward to it, so thank you very much for that. I really appreciate that. Um, However, I've decided to um, delay the app until uh, August. That is when the uh, first trader will also be released. Um, we just wanted to give you a, a fir solid first impression of the game. Um, right now, the app isn't quite there yet. Uh, we just wanted to have it uh, meet our own expectations first. Um, there are also last minute bugs that we had to deal with. The localization isn't fully uh, completed yet. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you understand. I'm sorry for this and, uh, yeah, thank you for your support. So there you have it. Blue Box's game is delayed to August or is the trailer app is delayed till August. And I find it interesting that it was said, uh, on the day of when it was supposed to go live, which seems really, really short notice. Truthfully, I feel like this should have been known earlier in the week now granted i think developers should take their time i feel like they should put out a product that they are truly proud of uh, but i feel like there's more to it than that he talks about localization he talks about bugs that crept up uh, but i think while those may be true i also feel like there was a level of hype that was built everybody was talking about this game people thought it was silent hill some people still think it's silent hill there were expectations that were so high for this game that I feel impacted the team. Granted, we don't really know what this game is. And I hear you guys when you say, or, or when people on Twitter say, we don't really know what this game is. It's hard to know how to feel about it. For me personally, I am excited for this game because of the way it's been described, right? A realistic survival horror game. I feel like that sounds awesome where it's not like a game where you know you're super powerful and you can run for miles and your aim is impeccable like no everything is impacted and so from that aspect based on what they've told us I feel like it's impressive but there is so much mystery around this you know Sony's dead silent about it we don't really know much else about it we just know that there's a, a trailer app of some sort that's supposed to come and now it's being delayed to August it's hard to know what to make of it but regardless, I wish this team the best. I really hope that they can put out a product that people will give a, a, a full chance to and not think of it as having to be Silent Hill or if it's not Silent Hill, that it's going to be a disappointment because this team, if it truly is a team, which I, I believe it is, a team of people who just want to create a game that they feel is special, that we should all give it a chance if we truly are interested in that type of game, of course. Um, and not base it off of Kojima or Silent Hill or any other IP as they're trying to do their own thing here. Again, there's a lot of mystery around this game. I don't know. There's a lot of mystery around the studio. And th there's so many questions, right? But at the end of the day, based on what we know, if this is truly a game from Blue Box that's going to be abandoned or whatever the real title is, I'm ready to give it a fair chance. I don't know about you guys. But that's all I have for you guys in today's video. I'd love to hear from you. What do you think this game could be that Gorilla has been working on in the background since February of 2018? What do you hope it could be? 
How do you feel about Haven Studio and it being an online game? What are your expectations? And lastly, how do you feel about Blue Box Game Studios delaying their trailer app yet again, but this time much further into August? Let me know in the comments. And as always, if you have not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified about all my upcoming videos and hit the like button. It helps the channel a ton. You can follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Links will be in the description and share this video with a friend. I will talk to you all on the next one. Take care. Thank you.